Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS National Tax Security Awareness Week Day 2, 2020 online tax preparation products to offer multi-factor authentication for taxpayers' tax pros. IR 2020-266 November or December 1st. 2020 YouTube video new security measures help protect against tax related identity theft there's a link to that here Washington the Internal Revenue Service state tax agencies and the tax industry today marked the second day of National Tax Security Awareness Week by announcing an improved feature that will be available on all 2021 online tax preparation products designed to protect both taxpayers and tax professionals multi-factor authentication means the returning user must enter two pieces of data to securely access an account or application for example taxpayers must enter their credentials username and password plus a numerical a numerical code sent as a text to their mobile phone so obviously the goal here is to put some more security in some of the tax software, which is an area that could have access to sensitive information. The added security for that being the multi-factor authentication, which basically means typically that you're going to get something like a text message with the code and you're going to have to take the code in a separate kind of device. So you have two devices kind of involved here in order to log in uh, to the software to add the security. The agreement to add the multi-factor authentication feature is just one publicly visible example of the ongoing collaboration by the IRS, state tax agencies, and tax industry, which work together as the Security Summit. 2020 marks the fifth year of the Security Summit of National Tax Security Awareness Week. Quote, multi-factor authentication option is an easy, free way to really step up protection of your data, whether you're a taxpayer or a tax professional, end quote, said Chuck Reddick, IRS commissioner. Quote, this is an important step being taken by the tax software industry. This is just one example of the many actions taken by the summit partners over the past five years that have dramatically improved our ability to combat identity thieves and to protect taxpayers end quote some online products previously offered multi-factor authentication however the 2021 all providers agreed to make it standard feature and all agree that it would it would meet requirements set by the national institute of standards and technology multi-factor authentication may not be available on over-the-counter hard desk tax products because the multi-factor authentication option is voluntary, Summit Partners urged both taxpayers and tax professionals to use it. Multi-factor authentication can reduce the likelihood of identity theft by making it difficult for thieves to get access to sensitive accounts. So they're basically saying that there's still an optional portion. It sounds like they're basically getting the tax software providers, or at least the main ones, to be setting up so that there is ability to have the multi-factor authentication possibly not to have that required for every user but they're basically saying you should be using it the multi-factor authentication in order to safeguard the data users should check security section uh, in their online tax product account to make the change it may be labeled as two-factor authentication or two-step verification or similar names so if you haven't set up the two-factor authentication and you have the tax software, then you probably want to set that up and you want to go into the settings in order to do that. And it might be called two-factor authentication or two-step verification, two names for the same thing. Use of multi-factor authentication is especially important for tax professionals who continue to be prime targets of identity theft. Obviously, tax professionals having access to tax software, tax returns, with, uh, with sensitive information in it can be targets for identity thieves. So of the numerous data thefts reported to the IRS from tax professionals offices this year, most could have been avoided had the practitioner used multi-factor authentication to protect tax software accounts. So thieves use a variety of scams, but most commonly by a phishing email 
to download malicious software such as Keystroke software. The malware will eventually enable them to steal all passwords from a tax pro. Once the thief has access to the practitioner's networks and tax software account, they will complete pending taxpayer returns, alter refund information, and use the practitioner's own e-filing and preparer numbers to file the fraudulent return, a dangerous combination. However, with multi-factor authentication, it's unlikely the thief will have stolen the practitioner's cell phone, blocking the ability to receive the necessary security code to access the account. This protects the tax pro's account information. There are multiple options for multi-factor authentication. For example, taxpayers and tax practitioners can download an authentication app to their mobile device. These apps are uh, readily available through Google Play and Apple's App Store. Once properly configured, these apps will generate a temporary single-use security code which the user must enter into their tax software to complete authentication. Use a search engine for, quote, authentication apps, end quote, to learn more. Other options include codes that may be sent to a practitioner's email or mobile phone via text, but those are not as secure as an authentication app. While no uh, product is foolproof, multi-factor authentication does dramatically reduce the likelihood that taxpayers or tax practitioners will become victims. Multi-factor authentication should be used wherever it is offered. For example, financial accounts, social security accounts, cloud storage accounts, and popular email providers all offer multi-factor authentication options. The IRS, state tax agencies, the private sector tax industry, including tax professionals, work in partnership as the security summit to help protect taxpayers from identity theft and refund fraud. Uh, this is the second in a week-long series of tips to raise awareness about identity theft. See irs.gov forward slash security summit. There's a link to that here for more in, for more details. So there's a link to that here. There'll be a link to this in the description.